Hello, my name is Walter Ferrari and you can contact me on wferrari at silverlightshow.net uh, In this video we will see how to create a small Silverlight application to upload files in a SharePoint site. For that we will use the new client of the model included in SharePoint 2010. Ok, let's start with a new project, a new Silverlight project. I call my application a shell file upload. I don't need to host the Silverlight application in a new website. Okay. Uh, the first thing to do now is to add uh, the references we need. For sure, we need the references to the uh, client object model, and uh, we also need uh, some references. Um, from the civil light toolkit uh, in order to be able to uh, use the drag and drop feature of uh, civil light 4. Okay, let's go to the summer file and let me speed up a little bit the process here. Okay, as you can see, the user interface is very simple. I have uh, a data grid here. Uh, inside a data grid tag top target and I also included a busy indicator control um, to notify the user on the operations going ongoing. Okay, now in the code behind let me add a client contest object Visual Studio helps me, ok. And uh, the method, uh, in this method, uh, we instantiate our uh, client contest uh, object passing the address of our website. I'll come back um, on this detail uh, later. Um, Using the load method, we inform the client model that uh, we want firstly the web, uh, the SharePoint web object, and then the lists objects of SharePoint. Um, then, since we are uh, in the main thread here, we can just make an asynchronous request. And if you look at the um, Backs. You see that I use here a dispatcher um, because obviously the callbacks uh, uh, run in another thread. Um, okay, now remains to add uh, the drag and drop feature, and to do this, uh, I add uh, the drag and drop event handler here to the data grid and uh, the method uh, here. Uh, as you can see uh, I use a visual uh, helper, tree helper to um, identify the row on which uh, we put uh, our files. Uh, for each file, then we call the upload file method. And uh, if we now add uh, upload file method, uh, um, what is interesting here is to see that we again use the client contest uh, object, uh, uh, this time to request uh, an uploading operation and here, once again, uh, the request is uh, executed uh, um, asynchronously. Uh, once the file is uploaded, uh, we just uh, show uh, OK file uploaded uh, message box. Now it's time to add a new project to our solution. A new visual web path project. I call it SP. Delete the visual web. 
part one uh, automatically generated and let me add uh, another one This is a, a dirty trick to to change the name of the web part. Here and now, here in the code of our web part, we have to um, override the home pre-render method. What uh, what I am doing here is to create a literal control and add it. Uh, as a child control to the controls of my web part. Uh, this uh, literal control contains uh, an uh, host silverlight control and here on source parameter you can see that the zap file uh, is placed in a path which is the same part where uh, SharePoint puts its uh, web parts. The other interesting thing in here is that mm, we obtain the web address of our website calling the server object model this time uh, because this code is running on the server and not on the client. Then we we use uh, the value of web address to pass uh, to our uh, serverlight application using a, par a parameter. Uh, perhaps uh, you remember this attribute here. In fact, if we look at the main page code behind and go to the connect to SP method we see that the serverlight application reads just this parameter and uh, use the value to instantiate the client context. Okay, next thing to do is to adjust the project output references here, adding a member and uh, under project name select the name of the uh, serverlight project and under deployment type uh, select element file. Uh, we have not finished yet. We have to edit manually the elements XML file here, adding this line here. Well here we are telling to the deployment uh, mechanism to uh, insert also our zap file in the deployment package. Okay, uh, we have now to set the SP file upload as a uh, SharePoint project as a startup project, and also we can enable Silverlight debugging here. Now start. create a new page uh, upload a page okay. and insert a new web part this is the web part we just created okay you see here there are all the uh, list uh, inside uh, our site. Can we just give more room to our list? Okay. Save the page. And let me try to add uh, a file. Okay. I want to add. Uh, want to to add uh, to share documents. Okay, file uploaded. Let's go to share documents and see. Okay, 
page is that the file is that um, we can also add the other file here okay and now we have the other the other file here um, we can also can see the two files uploaded. 